three, respond and assist units on the scene. My, you guys might as well come on in and we'll just do the door. Please, there's Please. more! We teach them how to shoot, we teach them how to drive. How many drugs did he use tonight, I mean? That's like asking uh, how many times you have sex today. We just had a report of a drive-by shooting. I'm just an open power and smell of marijuana. I need a dog man, he's out on foot in the school. He got up after I hit him. Got a couple of 12 gauge shotguns here. Don't go, you're going to jail. This program contains actual police footage. No reporters, no recreations. I'm just saying to the area of the Dell Hotel, one of our uh, other police officers has just gotten into a high speed pursuit with the uh, Camaro. It uh, was involved in a hit and run accident at the Dell. And, uh, the police officer saw this and now he's trying to pull the car over, but it's uh, taking off and just heading southbound on King George Highway. Let them take it over. The dog is behind us, let the dog have him.
Listen to me here for a second, okay? I'm hurt. Oh, I'm it's a shame. Hurt, it's a shame. You're under arrest for dangerous driving. I wasn't driving. Yes, you were. Shut up. It's my duty to inform you that you have the right to retain extra counsel without delay. You may call any lawyer you want. The legal aid duty lawyer is available to provide legal advice to you without charge and can explain the legal aid plan to you. If you wish to contact a legal aid duty lawyer, I can provide you with a telephone number. Do you understand? You want to call a lawyer? Anything sharp on you? Yeah, a second. You want to call a lawyer? Hang on, I gotta get something from the car. Do you want to call a lawyer? I'm not your buddy, first of all. Okay, sorry, sir. Okay? Do you want to call a lawyer? I'm going to jail. Hey, listen to him. Yeah, I'm listening. Do you want to call a lawyer? You want to call a lawyer? Okay, you're not obliged to say anything, but anything you do say, maybe give an evidence. Do you understand? I hear you. But anyways, Frank, do you want him? Yes. I think there's a 235 there. No, I'm serious. 253. I won't even go anywhere. I want to try it. The, cruise. the vehicle that he hit at the Dell was a park or was yeah, it? The street started up uh, near the Dell Hotel. One of the members had been making patrols through the uh, parking lot and observed the uh, Firebird here uh, involved in a collision with another vehicle. The Firebird subsequently took off and uh, that led to the high speed chase. We'd had a, a similar vehicle involved in an armed robbery earlier tonight on Scott Road, so uh, during the course of the chase, the member wasn't sure if uh, the uh, driver of the vehicle was taking off simply because there had been the hit and run accident or if he had in fact been involved in this armed robbery. As the chase continued southbound King George Highway, a number of uh, police vehicles were able to get involved and one of the vehicles uh, was able to get in front of the car, slow it down and as he tried to uh, edge it off towards the uh, side of the road, the, uh, the Firebird rammed the police car which eventually led to the uh, front tire on the Firebird blowing and the chase continued with him driving uh, on the rim of the vehicle. Uh, because of that, at least the, uh, slow, the uh, speeds were substantially slower than they might have been and the chase continued quite a ways down into Newton here where a number of uh, vehicles were able to block him in and uh, that led to a couple of minor collisions. Once we had the fellow in custody, it was determined that uh, this probably was not the vehicle involved in the armed robbery. However, the uh, driver appears to be impaired. We'll see what the uh, breathalyzer tests show. It looks like there's a stolen valve tag on the license plate, no insurance. And uh, other than that, we really don't know why he was running at that time. We just checked into a motel down the street about four blocks down here. And uh, this Camaro here, whatever it is, was heading south. There's flames flying out from under the car. It looks like the bumper was ripped loose or something to that effect. He got down about two blocks. We run out onto the street to see him heading south. We heard some crashing and banging. The car stopped, and I couldn't believe my eyes. I saw the Camaro turning around in the middle of the road, dodging police cars, and started to come back this way. As he came back towards us, we made a run for the motel to try and take cover because we thought he, he may try to pull into the motel parking lot, which he didn't. He came straight down this way and made it another four blocks. And, they got him cornered at this point here, but it was a very, very scary situation. Thank I can God tell you that no one much. was hurt. It's amazing. Thank goodness no one was hurt. It, uh, it Absolutely was, amazing. I've never seen anything that irresponsible. But the police handled it really well. Yeah, they did. It was they did. beautiful. There's no, there's no question yeah. about that. As the uh, chase was going on and we got the car stopped for the first time, all three occupants inside were uh, laughing at the police officers. Uh, obviously pretty stupid if you consider the, uh, the seriousness of what's going on, the uh, potential danger involved and uh, the gravity of the situation that they had uh, gotten themselves into. Then uh, the chase continued a short distance and we got the vehicle stopped once again. And at that point, the uh, driver of the vehicle jumped into the back seat while the back seat passenger jumped into the front, I guess uh, hoping that they would be able to confuse us and avoid any uh, criminal prosecution. Uh, fortunately, there were several of us uh, right there on the car who had uh, seen this taking place and uh, we were able to properly identify the, uh, the driver of the vehicle. I can see that the, the suspect vehicle had, was driving on one rim and he didn't have very much control over the vehicle. At that time, I uh, didn't want to risk a, a motor vehicle accident and this person being uh, injured, so I made the decision to pull in front of the suspect vehicle. I uh, zigzagged uh, between the two lanes, slowed him down to enough that uh, uh, I was able to get alongside of him and uh, gradually sh shoulder him over to the road, continued to slow down even more, 
He swung around to the other side. At that point, we all boxed him in. Uh, you've got so many different things to worry about. Your biggest concern is the public. Uh, I have to commend uh, the other members uh, for blocking off intersections when they could do it. Uh, it's probably the best that I've ever seen. I'm just very happy that this, uh, this ended up the, the way it did. Um, clean sweep, all in custody, and nobody hurt. We're going to uh, what appears to be a fight, a uh, big brawl. Uh, came out, uh, came in as a noisy party, and basically uh, the member that's um, getting to the scene is calling it as a fight in progress. There seems to be a large group of people at the uh, at the address, and they're all fighting. So we're going to go and check it out, and hopefully uh, it's not going to be too much problems. Do you have any, uh, you may want to help out There's somebody in that car. Shut up, man! Shut up! Billy, shut up or you're going to send us all to jail like an ass. Shut up. Bad day, eh? Huh? Bad day. Oh, well, I'm outnumbered by 50 motherfucking Spaniels. What do you expect? I don't even do anything. I come here to a simple birthday party and I end up getting in a brawl. It's Saturday. I go up for a couple of drinks, expecting to see a friend, and I go to do this shit. And who's hurt there? Your brother? Yeah, that's my brother. Okay. No, Billy, man, relax. They're going to throw you in jail. Shut up. Dude, Stay there. Come on, Sean. Let him go. Come here. Come here. My hat. My hat. Hey. Hey, you guys don't back up. You're all going to get a nice dose of pepper spray, all right? So just let him do the job and get away. Hey, you guys aren't involved here. Go home. Exactly. Hey. Okay. Want to be an idiot? Exactly. Well, you well, can put yourself in jail. Exactly. Get out. 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 Get and just as I did that, then the guy who's in my car now jumped my back. What's the story then of the I had guy him. with no shirt on then, the curb uh, there? The he's the one guy? of the guys involved. Oh. Okay, who's, who's going to the EHS? Well, EHS is going to take a look at this yeah, guy here blood. on the curb, yeah, no, as change. well as the guy in, in my car. Okay. okay. So, like, basically, we get here, and everybody's fighting. Okay, everybody's fighting. There's a my big brawl. My friend is knocked on the ground. Are you take him to jail? Are you taking him to jail? You're drunk now. No, and you're, you're taking him okay. to jail. He's okay. crying. Exactly. Yeah, he's crying, crying because he has pepper sprays and in his house. And that's my brother. Okay. Oh. What I'm saying is he was a goof. No, and he's he going to... He's, he hey, hold on. on the floor. Hold oh, on a sec. I'm sorry. Hold I on respect a sec. you and everything. If he was arrested, okay, there's a reason for it. Okay? Yeah, okay. I saw one question. Basically, he's going to stay in cells until he sobers up. When he sobers up, that's going to be the end of it. He's going to be released, and there's no, not going to be any charge. You know what? Oh. It's not going to be the end of it. Yes, it is. Why? Why not? Where are my rights? <laughs> like, you have rights. Go home. What do you mean when I don't have <laughs> rights? You have rights. Why? This I'm guy's brown? been arrested. I'm brown? Oh, okay, whatever. Okay, no, sir, go home sir, now. I'm, I'm giving you, I'm giving you two, no, no, two no, choices no, no, here. Sir. Either you go home right no, no, no. now, or you're gonna, I'm you're gonna join your, you're gonna be joining your. I just got one last question. You have a choice. One question. One question. Yeah. I, I, I told three cops. Okay, the three cops told you the same thing, so I'm not going to repeat sir, myself, no, no, no. okay? So, you're not no, even no, no. Me. You're not hearing me. Sir, I heard you I'm like sorry. 15 which times already. Gonna, which is going to let a feeling up with you because you're an officer yeah. with the law. Yeah. Okay. You pick up two of my brothers. Yeah. What about, what about everybody else? Everybody else was calm. That's the problem. Your brothers weren't. Yeah. Okay? He if they would have. My brother okay. was laying with the officer. You know what? The police officers made the decision to arrest him. Yeah. That's the end of the story, okay? Have a good night. We're uh, heading to an apartment building on Imperial Street. The apartment managers called in reporting uh, some of his tenants uh, apparently are running around the halls, yelling and screaming, urinating, uh, apparently might be uh, smoking some dope and causing a general problem in the apartment building. Ourselves and uh, another unit are heading over there right now. 
off the fight or what? No, I didn't need us anymore. anymore. Didn't need you anymore. So what's happening here? Okay, I rented an apartment to uh, some uh, Spanish guys. Yeah. And uh, they're having massive parties in there. Now I just got complaints from tenants that they're smoking crack cocaine or something in the hall hallway. I came downstairs before you guys came. This one, guys? Uh, no, that's one of the tenants yeah, here. Yeah. Uh, they're disturbing everybody. There, yeah. there are a lot of problems. And you've spoken to him before? Yeah, I spoke to him yesterday. I told him one more party, and that's it. You're out. Do you have your eviction notices ready? Or? Mm, I'm going to have them ready. I need the, the report, the file, or the number, or whatever. Because yeah, they're trouble. This is a clean building. We've never had problems here since uh, a year and a half now, a year. You know, now I rent it. Uh, what a mistake. How many guys are in the apartment? Oh, jeez, the, the two days ago, there must have been about 40 people in there. No, I mean uh, tonight. Tonight, I don't know. I came down, one guy stole out of the street. I told him the cops are coming. You're out tomorrow. Okay, so let's go. And I here. just walked away. Mm -hmm. Put our bikes inside here and... Hmm? You can lock them together in here and we'll... Here, just put them inside. Yeah, yeah. I'm not going to be on cops, am I? Not cops. No. Serve and protect. Maybe. Which apartment number is it? Right down here. Uh, 108. Hey. We were going to Buller too. What was going on there? Just... Oh. Hi, what's going on here? Nothing, sir. Nothing? Nothing. Who lives here? Um, my friend. What's everyone running here for? You want to give this guy here in the jean shirt a ride? For a guy that doesn't want to go for jail, you don't sure listen to what you're told. Have you got some ID? Yeah. yeah. Let me see some. Hmm? So where are you staying tonight? At home? You live over there, right? At Dow? Yeah. I think they uh, threw a bag of dope out here somewhere, too. You think? I think so. That's why they left. Oh, yeah. Couldn't find it? No. We uh, attended to an apartment uh, on Imperial here. The manager was uh, indicating to us that uh, people in the apartment were causing problems. Uh, we were invited inside. Once inside, uh, located uh, approximately six to eight uh, males uh, who had obviously been smoking uh, marijuana, drinking beer, et cetera. Half of a dozen of them uh, ran out the back door into the alley. Um, never did locate any marijuana. Uh, their beer was poured out, and they were sent on their way. Uh, and the party has since been shut down. Go to jail awfully fast. The report of a, a large fight on the SkyTrain platform. Report. Report. And, uh, another file. Right now. Uh, negative, I did not. We don't have a member like. there yet, so nope. we don't know all the details. And, uh, Burnaby from five, who called in this call? Sky Train security called in. 10 4, and they have security members standing up at it now. 10 4, but it's uh, beyond their control, apparently. For. Yeah, they're all getting on the train now, aren't they?
Okay, so I, I'm going to just suggest to get back on the train and make your way home. Okay. Where are all you guys coming from? The fireworks downtown? Okay. Yeah. He's, he's with us. He's not getting back on the train. Okay? You're very welcome. Okay. No, you can just... Look it. We got more than one complaint about you, so just sit Me? there. Yeah, sit there and close your mouth. He, he was there. He seen it all. <laughs> well, get off the train right now. There's other trains coming. We sorted off. There's other trains coming. Get off the train right now. As long as we get home, we don't want to walk home. Okay. Okay. They got us off the train. We did nothing wrong. Okay. 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 We got everybody. Yeah, we're we're standing on the train. Home. Every single person on the train is yelling and screaming, and then we get we separated the, for some reason because we're chick. standing right by the doors, some and we all get thrown off the train. What's up with that? We didn't throw you no, off no, the I'm train. Not blaming, we're no, telling. No, I'm not blaming you. No, we're not blaming you. That's why we didn't want to walk home. That's why we didn't get off. There's no way we're walking home to Surrey from here. Like. Because we had if no we, reason to get from here. Off. You have to take a bus to, to Metro that's Town, the point, and then man. we to had the no reason to get kicked off the yeah. train. There was no nothing to warn us. So nothing to warn us. Stopping words, the you guys train. didn't assault anybody. No, we didn't assault, assault anybody. We couldn't. She didn't like the yelling as she pressed the strip. We couldn't even move on there. Never mind. She didn't like the yelling, so she pressed the yellow strip, and that's where we are now. The only reason we didn't get off, officer, we didn't want to walk home from there. I paid the same amount that she did to get on the train. I can yell all I want. Because I missed the last guy train like two nights ago and just had to walk home over the Patolo Bridge, and I. Yeah. Saturday night, these people are getting mad because we're being loud. Ow, ow, like, ow. Well, what's the problem here? Some chick thinks she's some kind of hero, that's why. They were the ones who caused the ruckus on the train, and practically the entire train said those were the ones, get them off the train, that the train can leave. And that's okay. why we wanted them off. Okay. Well, now that we've removed them, we need someone to come to court and say that they were in fact causing a problem. Okay, we can't just let, you know, it's... Dude, you know, the chick isn't even here. Yeah, yeah, which would have been that lady with the white dress, and then wasn't there another lady here who just spoke to her as she was on that train? As a number of um, public events are happening still in, in the city, uh, we've had uh, several full sky trains pass through the Edmund station, and we got a complaint about um, a large fight that was happening on the platform. When we attended, basically, we determined that it was a number of uh, passengers that uh, were causing a problem on the train and uh, when we attended we asked uh, the identified group to leave. There were a couple people on the train that fell victim to a number of verbal insults and it uh, you know was quite uh, disheartening for for those passengers who were uh, you know who were disturbed by these these revelers shall we say. So anyway they were removed and um, placed back on the train each separately and uh, everything was cleared away with no problems. The, Trains are still going, with, packed with people, and uh, hopefully we won't have to come back to the SkyTrain station again. We had a bystander come by and tell us that there's uh, apparently a man down in the lane here. So we'll, give, we'll check it out and see how he is. You never know. Could be gone. What's happening here? What happened, guys? Did anybody see, hit his head when he went down. see what happened? Hey, partner. Fire department, what's happening? How you doing? Pardon? You're okay? You're lying in the street. What's the matter? Yes, I'm lying. Do you see him? Do you have any pain? 
Do you have any pain anywhere? Yeah, okay, thanks. I'm the first agent from the Second World War. I'm going to tell you. How's it going, partner? How much? Uh, yeah, I don't know, sir. Yeah. Huh? Uh, I can't get much out of him here. Let's check it. Checking for any kind of head injury here. No bumps or bruises. Smells of alcohol, but yeah, I'll get the alcohol you on him. You been drinking today? Possibly. Possibly. What, what's your name there, guy? Pardon me? He's your first agent, man. Your friend here. Want to pull up on the sidewalk? My name's Steve. You want to sit up? You're looking pretty good now. Sure. How about sitting up for us here? Want a hand? Yeah, I'm going to sit you up here, guy. There we go. Bring him up. Yeah. Let's sit him up against me. There you go. There we go, partner. Just sit back, okay, partner? Uh, yeah. yeah. How you doing? Just lean back there on the telephone pole right there. Well, you're looking good, but want you to. There you go. Where do you live? Well, we we'll just have to wait for the uh, DHS or the okay. wagon. Wait for your ride. They'll determine where they're going to take them. I presume they're going to take them to the detox. He'll have to sleep it off. And off to home he'll go. You definitely can't leave him sitting out here. It's okay. It's just the ambulance. So we're going to check you out. Make sure you're okay. Okay. Where's Ray these days, Vern? What? Where's Ray these days? Ray. What day is this? It's Friday. Yes, I know. Well, it's Saturday. Oh, Vern, we're going to have to get you with you, okay? Sleep this off. Roger 2, I'm rescue 8, Mesa, code 3. This is for a fall from a fire escape. It's at the rear 425, Abbott Street. Well, we're off and running again. We're going to a fall from a fire escape a few blocks down the street here. Uh, in our, our district, we got quite a few uh, old, antiquated fire escapes. A lot of, a lot of falls from them. We'll see. We'll see what they come up with on this one. Looks like to be a busy night. Streets are uh, alive. We got the rescue right behind us. Well, lots of manpower. Okay, keep his neck stable there. I heard him. We can't wait. Stabilize that neck. Back out of there now, Paul. Come on, you guys back up with the bike and that, please. Okay, you're doing good, Paul. Paul. They, they got okay, him now. Okay, it's okay, Roy. Oh, we don't. Step Watch your step. Sorry. Okay, next step back there. He fell off the fire escape. How are you feeling there, pal? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. There. Okay. Hey, what's your name, partner? Okay. Ron. Roy. Okay, Ron. Okay, Ron. You got any pain, Ron? Tracy, we got major C spine. What happened? He fell off that. Yeah. Small. Does he look like a tall? Yeah, he does actually. You want to put the O2 on him here, or just pull it off? Yeah. Yeah. No, not yet. Okay, I got the legs here. It seems legs. Let's not move around, guys. Too much. How do you feel? What's your name? Ron. What's your name? Okay. Where do you hurt the most, Ron? Okay, what did you land on? Did you get pushed? Did you fall? Hmm? Can you get this one off? He's working on it. Watch your fingers, Trace. Uh, just take it off. Here. It's already off. Just pull. There we go. Don't move, Kayla, John? Yeah. Do you have any medical problems, Ron? Don't move, Ron. Let them do it. 
Ron, give me medical problems. Get some sandbags and all that. Uh, back back of the door. Yeah, we'll have to stretch this out. It's pretty tall. Take a couple notches here. Okay, just put her down there for now. Yeah, you got it. We got to see. 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 We got to just relax. Okay, right. Ready? Roll them the other way. Okay, Trace? Yeah, one, two, three. Okay, want your arms down? Press there you go. Do you want a spider strap with you? Um, I'm going to consider them unstable. So okay. Sandbag. Okay, you all got sandbags? Got it. Sandbags. Okay. Get out of the way here. This is He's tacky. Apparently the fellow's fallen from the third story uh, fire escape and uh, suspected uh, spinal injury of the neck. Looks quite serious. The ambulance uh, was right behind us. Uh, they wanted to pick him up and get him to the emergency room as quick as possible. He could deteriorate rapidly. So St. Paul's just down the street, and it's best to get him to help and get him get him on his way. He just fell off the first start fire escape. Right? What was he doing up there? I don't know. Oh. So you <laughs> actually you actually saw him fall and hit. Yeah. Which way did he hit? Right on the side of his head. So head first, huh? Yeah, more or less. <laughs> was he unconscious? Nope. No, I kept him awake. I he kept was conscious. His name out, so. yeah, they said he was going to be okay. Yeah. Uh, shooting up up there? I don't know. Yeah. He's looking over and he just left it. Kind of lost, lost it up there. Well, time will tell. Yeah. Well, I don't know. Look, look. Look. Big gash on there, so. It looks like a pretty big Adam's. Well, it's pretty serious. If you fall that far, you're going to have something, something hurting. Time to go home, okay? Just go home, okay? Just go home. Just go home. Just go home. Come on, sir, 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 go home, okay? Go home. Go home, okay? I'm trying to stop him from fighting. I know, I know. Just go home, please, okay? Come on now. We don't need any fights here. I, I, I know the f I am trying to stop him from doing it. Let's go. It's his birthday. She's trying to protect. Just go. <laughs> no, I'm trying to stop the fight. I know, sir. Just go home. There is a guy here who was uh, looking to fight here, but uh, he got a little, little bit of, here. little bit of pepper spray. Here. This guy here? Yeah. Yeah, he is being a mouthpiece. So this is our typical bar closing time here on a Friday night in Surrey. Everybody hangs around, nobody wants to go home. To serve and protect? Yes, it is. Yeah. Are you leaving? Uh, am I what? Are you leaving? So, why? Well, because I've asked you to leave about three times yeah, and I'd like... Like, see, you can't, like, you're, you are my father, right? I know you're an officer and I'm a citizen. You can't make me leave. Yeah, I can. Because I'm not doing anything wrong. I'm I can arrest you right now. No, I'm waiting on somebody, see? Yeah. Because I'm driving home. Okay? You can't, like, make me leave. Yeah, I can. That's not so, just go home. Look at this. 
And this is our bar closing time in uh, Surrey at the Dell Hotel. Everybody normally hangs around here instead of going home at the end of closing time. Hey. Yep. This is a big, uh, gonna be on TV. Are we or studying what? the Surrey element of how um, certain elements of people bring together Surrey and uh, see a lot of amazing you things see, out in Surrey. Guys was, like uh, us are trying to bring people like them together. No, no, no. You it's see, not working. You see, these guys well, got to come out here and deal with this element that belongs out in you Surrey. Think so? here. Really? You see, with the local problem with drugs and prostitution and everything. You see, these guys. Don't well, have the backing through legislation. Now, if they had the proper legislation, they would have the power to control such situations. And that would make a lot more sense. You see, the problem with Canada today is we don't have the right legislation. <laughs> you see, now it's not the local police that are the problem, it's the legislators. You see, if you were paying all these guys to make up this legislation, yeah. That's pretty much useless, especially in Canada. I mean, you can take, for instance, I mean, you can grow dope in Canada. And, I mean, check out the profits of it. You don't want to tell them what you're doing. You know, I mean, it, well, that was a long time ago. But, I mean, if they were to legalize it, the possibility of taking a profit out of it, then they'd have a big problem. I tell you. Those guys just enjoy filming. I think you got to figure it out. Yeah, he's he's a oh, yeah, I see right here. He's just giving a conflict. Of interest here. See what I mean? So, I have to let him go. He speaks his mind, right? So, he's exactly. a confused individual. Are you talking to me? Oh, so, I don't know do what I get to be on TV? What's confused? Hi, Mom. Do you want to talk I about? love you, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> this is a Dell, Mom. Shine that bright light in my face. <laughs> she lives or in what? Hi, dear Mom. Say hi to your Mom. Shit. Hi, Mom. Love you. Well, we he's managed to thin the crowd out here a little bit, but this is our usual closing time crowd here. Everybody hangs around. Nobody wants to go home. And then uh, all the fights break out. So we like to uh, disperse the crowd as best we can here at closing time, rather than leave them all hanging around. Tonight wasn't very bad. It can, uh, everybody seems pretty happy here, actually, tonight. Everybody wants to be on TV. But our, uh, our problems are when there's too many people around here, and then a fight breaks out, and then everybody else wants to fight. And at times, it can get pretty bad. So we just try to make sure people move on their way. But one fellow there, uh, he ended up getting uh, sprayed with some pepper spray. He wanted to fight. It didn't appear that uh, he really cared who he fought with. He just wanted, seemed to want to fight with anybody. So uh, he got some uh, pepper spray. And it uh, pretty well closed his eyes up and rendered him incapable of fighting. So at that point, his friends were able to uh, squeeze him into the truck and take him home, I guess. The uh, pepper spray is uh, something that we've gotten in the last, last couple years here. It's really handy. Uh, it'll, uh, it'll close your eyes up, makes it dif difficult for you to breathe. And uh, for these guys here that are uh, acting up like this, you just can't, uh, you can't fight the whole crowd, and it's a great tool to uh, even things up. And it uh, doesn't work uh, necessarily on everybody, but in this case, it worked real well. Hey, how you doing? How's it going, guys? Yeah, you look pretty, uh, pretty tired, eh? Yeah. Yeah. How's your buddy there? Yeah. Is he gonna wake up for me here? Three four ten eleven on Eleventh right. Avenue and Eighteenth Street. Dave. Golf, Bravo, November eight four eight. Burnaby from Twenty. We're out with three vehicles. Dave, how you doing? Bravo Twenty. Out Dave, with can you hear me? <laughs> Ready to copy the Wake your buddy up there. I don't think he's probably in any condition he's to be driving right. home. How come you're all uh, bleeding? Why don't you step out of the car for a sec, okay? What happened tonight? What are you guys up to tonight? Nothing, Mr. How come you, uh, did you get involved in a scrap or something? You're, uh, you're all cut there and your clothing's all ripped? What happened last night? 
till I'm out. Sorry? Just till I'm out. Yeah? Are you graduating or something? No, I did. Okay, what's going on? We're just gonna go home. That's my idea. You're just gonna go home? Yeah. Okay. Why don't you just sit back here for a sec? All right. Do you have any identification with you? Yeah. You do? Okay, why don't you hand it over to me here? You don't have anything on you, uh, on your person that I should be aware of? No. Here you go. You're just sitting in your sleeping. Okay. You're just sitting in your sleeping it off after a party. Do call them a cab? Yeah, I think that's probably a good idea. They can't stay here. A little bit concerned that he might. He's got his keys there and everything like that. I don't think even within the next couple of hours he's going to be in any condition to be driving. I don't know. Listen, I'll tell you what the uh, the score is here. You and your buddy are just sort of trying to sleep it off after a party last night, obviously, or some kind of fun, eh? Your buddy, obviously, is in no condition to be driving the vehicle, and that's probably why he's sleeping, but he's also got the keys in his lap, so we're kind of concerned that maybe uh, he might uh, drive away, okay? So uh, we'd really, uh, we'd like it a lot better if you guys maybe took a cab and went on home, okay? You guys got the means for that, and we'll call you a cab? I don't know if I got any money. Okay, well, have yourself a look. Does your buddy have any money on him, do you know? Dave, do you have any money on you? Dave. You guys must have been freezing in there. It's pretty cold, isn't it? Well, haul him out of the car. Yeah. Well, we should see if he'll stand up on his own. Dave, come on out of the car, buddy. Dave! Stand up. Stand up. Come out of the car. Come out of the car, Dave. It's the police. Come on. We don't want you in the car, okay? Okay, just, okay. just lean against the car. Okay. Just relax, okay? Sobering up after a party or something last night? Oh, yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> okay, well, listen. We're a little bit concerned, you hear? You don't have an adequate amount of clothing here. It's finally a little oh, bit chilly. Jesus. Probably fairly intoxicated, aren't you? No. And you got your keys there, and we're concerned that you're going to drive. So what we're uh, looking at here is maybe if you can, uh, if you guys get you a cab over here and get you home where it's nice and warm and... Uh, yeah, out of the elements here, okay? We don't want you driving. We kind of argue that maybe even within the next couple of hours, you probably shouldn't be uh, shouldn't be driving, okay? All right. Yeah. Okay. So we'll get you a cab here. For me? Oh yeah, I have cash. I'll call you. I'll call him. Okay. You don't have any knives, needles, or anything on you that I should be aware of? No, not okay. a thing, man. Okay. Why don't you just sit back here with your buddy on this log back here, oh, and we'll get you a cab over right away. Did you guys get involved in a scrap or something tonight? Uh, not sure. That was the cab to your location? Yeah, just have a seat there, buddy. Body. Yeah, we'll get the cab and get you, get you home. That log is nice and comfy there, I'm sure. We were just out on a routine patrol around in the area and uh, found these two gentlemen uh, passed out in their vehicle, obviously uh, after some sort of a party uh, last night. A little bit concerned that they're uh, out here um, sleeping in uh, where it's cold and uh, the driver was uh, somewhat impaired and intoxicated. And uh, to remedy the problem, uh, they agreed to uh, take a cab and go home and everybody's happy. Okay.